Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back playing Imperion Galactic Survival. And in our last episode, we made a glorious attack upon the uh, stranded ship over here. And our BA new base is uh, coming along. And in today's episode, Butt Monster, you are going to get shot by me. <laughs> you got butts everywhere. So in this episode, we are going to work on base construction and maybe gather some Prometheum, which is uh, the material we need to make energy cells. But uh, let me go over what is being constructed right here in our presence. Um, we have, let's see, where to go? Okay, so that we made an oxygen tank. Uh, an oxygen station is coming up, a fridge, and a food processor. Now, this small generator, uh, the fuel tank, and the large constructor, these are all things that we collected when we raided the ship. So, we've got all of that stuff, and we should be able to get a base going. So, uh, I crafted up some uh, building materials uh, off camera. And uh, <clears throat> so we've got some building blocks. We've got some other stuff. Um, so we will be applying all of those things as soon as we get this thing up and running. So, and it looks like I timed that relatively perfectly. Everybody's cool. There's the space, the, the ship that we raided in the last episode. It still may be, we, we raided a lot of the stuff, but there is a part of the ship that is buried uh, underneath the sand. So we may have to take a second trip uh, to the ship just to do some excavation. Excavation? You know what I'm saying. Well, if you do, let me know. Um, excavation. That's, that's, how, that's how they call it up in space. All right, so... One more thing, and as soon as we are done, we are going to move out. Come on. So I'm just assuming I need a food processor because I'm assuming I want food. And so let's put our refrigerator so that... Because already we've got stuff that's spoiling, if you know what I'm saying. Because we have... Because uh, I organized the inventory a little bit. This is weapons in... Yeah, no, this is food in here. So we've already got food spoiling. So I'm not sure. I think that was, I don't know if that was, uh, yeah, alien meat. Uh, I had shot a uh, alien dude and uh, I put his alien uh, meaty bits up in here and now it's spoiled. So it is no good to us at this point. So there is our BA new base. And um, the BA does not make it awesome. What the BA does is tell us what we can, where we can put stuff. So if you look at the different components, right, uh, that little box on the right, it tells you uh, where you can install different things. I hear a life form making a slurpy sound. Anyway, um, so for example, right, the oxygen station uh, can go in one of those two places. Oh, wait. Did I make the wrong oxygen station? Because this is saying ground vehicle, space vehicle. I wonder if I made... Is there another oxygen station for the uh, BA? Ah, dang it. I hope I didn't make the wrong one. Grrr. Let's see. Um... I wish they could that this was small fuel tank, fuel tank, generator, generator, cockpit. Okay, where is oxygen? Water generator, oxygen generator, oxygen station. I don't see a different oxygen station. Huh. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, because like you saw, like for the, there, there are two different size generators and, and, um, so hopefully we can place this. See, 
See, that thing looks much more ferocious, the desert worm, than it is in real life. And there, this place is sick with them, so I hope they're tasty. Because, uh, obviously, um, we are going to want to taste them. What are you doing growing in front of my base? You, We got fungus. What's up with that? What? I think that was dented. I think I broke one. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, worms, y'all got to stop making that scary noise. I'm gonna shoot you on reflex or on principle. All right, so let's just make it one block bigger all the way around and the bases don't have to be super big to fit everything that we need to fit onto them or into them or among to them but i still kind of want it to be you know not like you know got to have a little bit of elbow room okay like that and like this like this all right, so let's see here. So let's put down, first thing is first, obviously. Um, let's put down a generator and a fuel tank. So let's see, and that is number five. Now I'm going to put this right to the edge um, because I'm going to put... Uh, if you see like these roundy bits, no, wait, is this a, oh, this is, I didn't make the right roundy bits. I want to make a curved edge and then the wall. So there, the base will actually be seriously, dude, or dudette. I'm not even sure. I don't even know. So this will still be one though. There will still be a wall that is one block beyond this block. Okay. So let's just place that is placed and let's just place this is placed and let's get into you and place you and generate some biznatch up in here and we will activate and uh, increase the power by three more triangles and I think we hit Y oh yeah so we are powered up and Gouda to go uh, the three more triangles was a a uh, a uh, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show reference, in case you missed it. Okay, so we have power into base. Now let us see what else we can have into base. So we can have a refrigerator to store our space beer, a large constructor to make our space beer and a food processor to uh, make our uh, fiery hot Cheetos. And so we'll take that back. I'll take it back. Okay, so um, I want you, okay, let's see, how, how do you turn? Okay, so this is home. The, this button I'm pushing right now is home. So I wanna do like that. Okay, is that cool? Um, T. Okay, so I don't have any anything in here to construct with, so I'm a, but I'm presuming it is powered because I powered everything else. So let us also okay, let's try out the oxygen first and for foremost, more foremoster than the other thing. Okay, and I will put. Uh, wait, what are you? Are you making? Oh. Well, get out of my face. Why are you red? Oh, man. I have a feeling I have done incorrect things with regard to oxygen. I wonder if I have to make it here. Uh, excuse me. Ox excuse me, oxygen. I'm trying to look at the thing. So let's look in here and see. Um, medic station. Spotlight cube. Oh, so the, see, because I, I do know that the different constructors have different uh, options, inventorial, inventorially speaking. Oxygen station. 
This is the BA oxygen station. So I did make the wrong thing. Yep. Okay. So we need to get some stuff out to base. And so that's, that's cool though. You know, it's all fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some, uh, in the words of Eli Whitney, put some storage containers up on here and then we'll store a thing. So let's see, we'll put our storage over here for now. And we'll call this box the storage for stuff we shouldn't have uh, made yet. I mean, we'll eventually need this stuff because um, we will build ships and the ships will need the things. So in the meantime, let's put our fridge. And maybe if we make... Um, Let's see here. Wait, okay, you are red. Are you also a thing I made in the wrong place? You probably are. Um, let's look at that. And you are. Okay, so, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push through the red. And there's another thing we've made for a future episode. Very, very good time-saving uh, ideas in this episode, obviously, for making stuff that we're not going to need for a while. Um, okay, but we can't place the food station. Huzzah! All right, well, let's run back. We will get, there's my rip. We will, um, we will get some more um, materials. Wait, let's write down, or at least put into our brain map what materials we need. So we need to do redo the oxygen station and the, so the oxygen, let's see here. That is going to be, okay, these two here. Oxygen station. So we need uh, components, control devices, computer and cables, components and control devices. Okay. So let's head back. We will do components, control devices, computers, and cables. We'll basically gra grab everything that starts with C or has C as a prominent consonant. And uh, now that I'm running back and forth, I am starting to see the wisdom of folks like Endem and Games for Kicks who decided to not build their bases on the water. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so components, cables, computers. I may need another computer. Um, oh, and for that, I will need the components and the things. So let's make two of those real quick. So let's just grab everything that isn't raw materials and take it over with us. I know glass panes was not one of them, but I don't mind. Okay, and while we're over here, let's start making the these. All right, now hopefully I have the right stuff. Obviously, if I do not, you are now screaming at your computer. So, and I don't want that to happen. Jump over the egg. So hopefully this will get, get her done for us. All right. Now, let us put all of you into here. Now, I want you to start lighting up with potential constructor device crafting table thing. Okay, so medic station, of course not. Uh, control device. Um, okay, can I make that? 
what, uh, let's see here. Control device. <sighs> okay, control device. We, we had not even made any of those, I don't think. So that's why it wasn't in our thing. We did not make control devices. Yep. Well, obviously the solution is to just make the escape pod uh, worthy of flight and then move it. <laughs> so we will do that. Hopefully in the next, the, the next episode, I think we will try to construct a land vehicle. Um, we make five of those. These, I think, yeah, I might have been looking at that and saying, hey, I've already got that. But uh, it is not true. Okay. Now, we should now have everything we need. And I'm pretty sure they only need one per. Like, you know, it's like the control panel. You don't need more than one control panel on a thing. But just in case. And it doesn't take that much longer to make extra. All right. Now, we will definitely have worn a path between our ship and our base. But I think after this point, our base will be pretty self-sufficient. Uh, and it'll be nice to have that as a sec separate crafting area so we can just kind of have raw materials going in that one, like a boss. And then we can use this to build some higher level stuff. So, um, okay, let's see here. Now we're talking. Okay, so let's make an oxygen thing. And not that. So this is our BA oxygen tank. This is our BA, which we need. We need more computers? I don't even understand you, video game. How many computers does it take to run an oxygen thing? It takes three. It takes three. Can I make a computer? <gasps> I can. Come on, craft. Okay, metal components. <sighs> okay, how many metal components? You need eight metal components. Okay, so you you look like a stick of RAM. And what don't I have for you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? We're going to pause here. Oh, bad guy. Okay, just what we needed. Some action. I'm not sure if like mouth shots are better. He dead. Or she. He or she is dead. Okay, and we will loot him or her and see we'll get raw meat and alien parts. Not the sensitive parts, I hope. All right, so I'm going to get the parts we need and I will be right back. And we're back. I believe at this point we are going to be able to finish construction. So here is the take home message. There's a couple of take home messages from this short, rather frustrating episode. Uh, the first one is make sure that uh, you know the parts you need for the item you're making. Like for example, this BA oxygen station. Second, make sure that the, the component that you are making fits on the project that you are making. So an oxygen tank, for whatever reason, that would go on a ship is different than an oxygen tank that will go on a base. Third, having two construction uh, sections far apart sounds good in theory, but I have a feeling it will be full-on hassle mode in practice because um, of what we just demonstrated, which is the running back and forth of things. I made two oxygen. Oh, for the love of... Urgh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Oh, boy, oh, boy. 
Okay, let's put you here. And you. Is that, is that how it faces? Well, not two of them. Okay. So. So let's see, let's put some oxygen in here. Okay. It works. And then we have a spare in case we lose it. Oh, for the love of Mike. All right. Worm, you're making an irritating noise now. Now it's just irritating. It was entertaining before. Now it's just irritating. So let's see here. Let's see if we can figure out the spin. Let's see. Can we see? Yeah, like that. So if we do this and... Like that, and then turn you. I'm trying to trying to see in the shadows here, uh, and the water. Of course, when you're in space, it doesn't really matter if you're underwater on top of it. Um, and we'll just run this across. And we won't have enough to finish, but we will get the idea. Wait, what? There you go. Okay. So there's that. And then the wall we will build up behind it. All right. Well, we now have a functioning base. Functioning may be a strong word for it, but it has all the components that we need. Please learn all the lessons that I have learned so that you will not do as I have done in this episode. We'll get there, Pat. I promise. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to start a conversation, why don't you start one? Why? In the comment section below. It could have gone better. That's for sure. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and have a great day.